He pushed forward. Five games across America from West Coast to East, and it all ends in Miami as the two biggest clubs on the planet come face to face. Teams that may be shorn of some of their biggest hitters, but it is still Manchester United against Real Madrid. And the first thing that really jumps out at you is the Manchester United formation. They have been playing the last couple of games at three at the back. We didn't think they were today in various positions. And here is by the captain, Tomane. Shaw and Darmian to be well forward as wing backs. Sanchez. Looks for Darmian, who is well forward. The back, not five sometimes when we actually go out to defend against certain teams or majority of the games. Fred, the number 17 for United. Here is Fred, the Brazilian. He looks a, looks a busy player. Play in the World Cup. Maybe fresh and he'd be full of enthusiasm. Like I said, the biggest move he's had in his career. He plays for Manchester United. And he has that quality, and Alexis Sanchez does really well there. Goes past Vallejo, and Vallejo has to pull him back. And Alan Chapman, what's a word with uh, Jesus Vallejo, as the Spain coach, after it came out that he'd be taking over Real Madrid. I suppose we never quite know the impact that had, but if you looked at Spain's performances overall in the World Cup, it was below what we all expected. Not especially the one I, I did, but also Navas was criticised when the season started. But if somebody deserves credit as well for that Champions League win, so it's Keylor Navas. He was fantastic in the later stages of La Liga. Vinicius, nice touch. His Fred. He's done well to win that free kick. He had four white shirts around him. It is, and he was looking for options. And I would like us to move off the ball a little bit better, especially for a player like Fred, when he's deep down in our own half, not to be losing in there. It's only his good skill and his balance that takes him out of this and wins as a free kick. Jurente pulled him back and then... It's Fred. Mata looks for Sanchez. Sanchez, Mata onto this. His shot, saved by Casilla. More Hernandez. Sanchez just in Washington and then they'll play Roma in New Jersey before going home. Fred with the challenge on Hernandez. Theo Hernandez. Bias. Quickly closed down by Fred. A lovely balance. Shabayas comes away with it. Fred. See how much faster the Real Madrid players are actually to close us down. Seemingly swapping wings with Bale for the, the time being. Going on a run, but Fred is there to mop up. He needs options. He's standing. Here's Pereira. Of course, into Lingard, I think just he scored on that day. Well, we've had a penalty shootout that finished 9 8. 26 penalties were taken <laughs> in LA. In LA. <laughs> but this, this one is not sure. I don't want to see 26 penalties no. today. But two I want us to win in 90 minutes. I, I don't want a 2 1 either, but. Water break. Yes, we've had half an hour, and as is customary in these games, um, there is a, a hydration break. I almost forgot it's actually humid down there because when me and you are sitting, Stuart, it feels like I'm in Iceland, in Reykjavik now, because it's so cold in this booth at the moment. Yeah, we should... Great learning experience for the younger members of this United squad. This entire tour really has been... Uh, Vinicius wants to return play quickly to Darmian. Inside the final 10 minutes of the 
the final game of the, the US Tour. I suppose the Tour continues by going to Bayern Munich, of course, on Sunday. But US Tour ends here. Fred, how do you think he's got on in his first half? I can see the energy levels he got as well. He's going to be very useful. He can go from both directions. It always takes time to settle in a bit. So for him, this is valuable minutes he gets here, especially starting the game. It's always better. Some people say, I'm going to let him come on in the second half uh, when the intensity goes down a little bit. But as a player, you always want to prepare for the game. You want to put them boots on. You want to have a proper warm-up and actually play from, you, from the word go. Back. He's very consistent for Sociedad. Uh, last season. Oh, that's a dangerous ball in. Benzema waits in the centre. They'll can find him. That was always there. And that's a corner. There's a so sort of stifled appeal. For it's there by back amongst us now. Real Madrid, a, a record, 13 European Cups. Extraordinary, that isn't it? 13 European Cups. This hasn't worked in Madrid for Odegaard just yet. We're talking about Real Madrid, Stuart. It's like when you talk about Manchester United. Special clubs require special type of players. When you're fallen because you own on your own when you're in that dark room as well and things are not going the way i should know i'm talking about my own experience as well he's gone for the return but it's good defending but they win it back and that's a terrific save to here going to his left hand side but already the whistle had gone for a free kick First time that David De Gea has been extended in any way, but from the bench. Tomanek. Fred. Shaw. Herrera coming across the cover. Be careful. Myra's waiting, he brings it down. Fred on the edge of the area. Second half, we've struggled to get going. Fred looking for Sanchez through the middle, just too much on that. Yeah, Javier Tomlin. Took over Daily Blinds number 17. Odegaard. A little give and go for Odegaard, but didn't quite work. Oh, beautiful That was terrific. Sanchez. And he's ridden about three challenges there and wins the free kick. Now oh, Lopetega will be delighted with the response of his team. In the second half, especially the youngsters. Just looking at the team as well, we know that Eric Bailly played against Liverpool when he was a little bit injured as well. He said he had over an hour as well, and probably I would bring Axel on instead of him and just save him because some important games of the season, like I said, are just around the corner. Fred. Tomlin. Fred. Mata. Fred. Fred. Sanchez. Fred's continuing his run through the middle. Sanchez wins the free kick. That's the one's able to take his role. Well, it's a really good start to his United career. 